He is known for his achievements as an American composer and music educator. He honed his skills at Harvard College, where he studied under the influence of composer John K. Payne. His name is Frederick Converse. In the realm of music history, one name stands out, Frederick Converse, a legendary composer whose impact on the field is truly remarkable. Born in Newton, Massachusetts, Converse was the son of a successful merchant and had a promising future ahead of him. However, his passion for music soon took hold, and he embarked on a journey that would shape his life forever. Converse's education at Harvard College exposed him to the influential composer John K. Payne, and it was here that his talent truly flourished. Graduating in 1893, Converse's violin sonata was performed and earned him the highest honors in music. Determined to pursue his musical calling, Converse immersed himself in the study of composing. Under the guidance of renowned teachers such as Carl Behrman and George W. Chadwick, he honed his skills and expanded his musical horizons. Seeking further knowledge and inspiration, Converse traveled to Munich and enrolled at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music. It was here that he studied under the esteemed Joseph Rainberger and showcased his immense talent with the debut of his symphony in D minor. Returning to the United States, Converse shared his expertise with aspiring musicians. He taught harmony at the New England Conservatory of Music in Boston from 1899 to 1902, leaving a lasting impact on his students, including notable composers Alan Hovhaness, Florence Price, and Hisato Ozawa. Converse's dedication to music education was further exemplified when he joined the faculty of Harvard University as an instructor in music, eventually becoming an assistant professor. However, his true passion lay in composition, and he made the decision to devote himself entirely to his craft. Frederick Converse's compositions are a testament to his genius and have left an indelible mark on the world of music. His symphony in D minor, which debuted at his graduation from the Royal Academy of Music, remains one of his most notable works. Converse's contributions to the field of music extend beyond his compositions, as he played a crucial role in shaping the next generation of musicians through his teaching. His legacy lives on through the countless students he inspired and the profound impact his music continues to have on the world of classical music. Frederick Converse, a renowned composer of the late Romantic era, was deeply committed to composing music in the style of his European contemporaries. However, what set him apart was his unique ability to infuse his compositions with American themes. His orchestral music, characterized by its lush scoring, drew comparisons to the early works of Richard Strauss. In a groundbreaking moment in American music history, Converse's opera, The Pipe of Desire, premiered at the Metropolitan Opera in New York in 1910. This historical achievement marked the first time an American composition had ever been performed at this prestigious venue. Converse's opera captivated audiences with its rich melodies and evocative storytelling. Despite this milestone, Converse's most renowned composition is his symphonic poem titled, The Mystic Trumpeter. Inspired by Walt Whitman's famous poem of the same name, which appears in his iconic anthology, Leaves of Grass, Converse's composition beautifully captures the spirit and essence of Whitman's words. Through his masterful orchestration, Converse brings to life the ethereal and mystical nature of the poem. Converse's ability to seamlessly blend the European Romantic tradition with distinctly American themes and influences cemented his place as a true pioneer in American classical music. His compositions continue to be celebrated for their beauty, emotional depth, and their ability to transport listeners to a world where music becomes a powerful storyteller. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.